Leonardo da Vinci was born outside the village of Antiano, Italy on April 15, 1452. He is destined to become one of the leading figures in the field of arts and science during the Renaissance period. August 16, 1467, Leonardo is sent away to study art. He was sent to apprentice under the famous artist Andrea del Verrocchio in Florence. With Verrocchio, Leonardo learns painting and sculpture primarily. In the year 1472, Leonardo is accepted in the Painters Guild of Florence, but he remains in his teacher's workshop for five more years, after which he works independently in Florence until 1481. Leonardo da Vinci moves to Milan in the year 1492 to serve in the court of the Duke, Ludovico Sforza. Leonardo enjoys the prospect of multiple projects suited to his interest and abilities. Leonardo da Vinci was a natural philosopher of his time and much of his inspiration came directly from observing the world around him. One of his creative philosophies is nature is the perfect creator. His perception of nature as a divine and perfect entity was influenced by Aristotelian philosophy and it became the driving force behind his desire to create. He said that the senses are of the earth, the reason stands apart from them in contemplation. This view of the natural world as something to be observed, learned from, and contemplated was the root force behind his creation. He saw nature as a teacher, and thus, he explored many pathways in which to better understand his environment. The next philosophy of Leonardo da Vinci is about change, to cultivate power and unleash our whole person. For him, in order to identify, cultivate, and realize our potential, all that we needed to do was to be part of it. If you want to cultivate a rich and diverse set of powers, live from the heart. He said that we can nurture and explore a plethora of our talents and abilities through change. Leonardo gives us an ideal to aspire to, even if we can't match his achievements. He is someone who cultivated his full potential to think, feel, do, and be. Around 1482, Leonardo da Vinci began to paint his first commissioned work, The Adoration of the Magi, for Florence's San Donato, Ascopeto Monastery. However, da Vinci never completed that piece because he relocated to Milan to work for the ruling Sforza clan, serving as an engineer, painter, architect, designer of court festivals, and most notably, a sculptor. In 1506, Gian Giacomo Trivulzio commissioned da Vinci to sculpt his grand equestrian statue tomb. It too was never completed because Trivulzio scaled back his plan. Da Vinci left Italy for good in 1516 when French ruler Francis I offered him the title of premier painter and engineer and architect of the king, which afforded him the opportunity to paint and draw at his leisure while living in a country manor house, the Chateau of Claude in France. One of the well-known artwork of Leonardo da Vinci was a Mona Lisa. This infamous portrait of Lisa del Gioconda was completed sometime between 1503 and 1519 and is currently on display at the Musée de Louvre in Paris, France. Another masterpiece of Leonardo da Vinci was the Last Supper, where it took three years for da Vinci to finish this piece. This artwork remains one of the most studied paintings in the history and the most sold of all da Vinci's posters. Salvatore Mondi This is the last painting of Leonardo da Vinci that reappeared during early 2000s. This artwork undergone extensive restoration and was sold for a price of more than 
$450 million during November 2017. Another art piece of Leonardo da Vinci was St. John the Baptist. This is an oil painting on a walnut wood and is currently exhibited at the Musée de Louvre in Paris, France. This artwork is believed to be his last painting. Da Vinci was not only adept in painting but also in other sorts of work. He did sketches for books, studied anatomy, and built weapons and bridges. He stated in Isaacson's notes that, quote unquote, like in painting, I can do everything possible. The Vitruvian man symbolizes the proportional relationship of the parts that reflects the universal design that the equilibrium of elements ensures a stable structure. God created the human body and the human being's production of good building in proportions so that it stabilizes him or her. Da Vinci was fascinated with the mechanical movements and static structure of the body. This led him to study the individual parts of the body in mechanical activity that eventually led him to study internal organs like the brain, heart, and lungs that are the precursor of movements. The Codex Foster is a detailed book of how Leonardo da Vinci perceived the world. By his tireless pursuit of knowledge, this book was created. His fascination with the motion made him consider it to be the cause of life. Everything in natural world moves us in to abide by the laws of nature that are embedded in everything.